just wanted to make a video about uh, repairing your starter motor for what well, it could be for for nothing or a few quid much cheaper than buying a, a new starter this one's off my Land Rover I've had some starting problems for about two weeks now um, turned the key it was just clicking wouldn't turn so it's got a new battery I knew the battery's good and if I tapped on top of this solenoid here with a hammer it would start so I know the solenoid was sticking and it was playing up so I'm just going to explain how the solenoid works how you remove it how you can fix yours maybe for free if it's not too bad or complete replace the solenoid completely replace it with a new part and get maybe another few years of use out of your starter much cheaper than buying a new one or if you break down this video if you've got some tools on you might you might be able to get your car going so basically I'm just going to run around the back here just show you on this old solenoid this wire from the starter bolts onto this bottom term terminal now when the starter's engaged the uh, the voltage is passed into this wire turning your starter motor which um, obviously turns turns your uh, your uh, dog cog here and get onto your flywheel but the solenoids roll is uh, activating a lever in here which forces this cog out to your flywheel uh, when that's activated it switches voltage um, through to this bottom contact powering the actual motor itself before you start messing around with your starter if you put a jump lead onto this bottom contact when it's all bolted up and put that to a positive on the battery and then clamp the negative onto the body of the starter and put that on the negative of the battery the motor should spin really fast if it's not spinning you've uh, you've got a duff starter there's no point going any further with it but if it spins free fast um, and you've been having the issue like me where you just turn the key and it's clicking you can hear the clicking coming from here this is your this is your problem mine was held on this solenoid's held on with three screws really important um, these are normally done up quite tight and obviously these have got a Phillips head there's loads of different profile Phillips um, so don't just get any old screwdriver and whack it in there go through some tips or different screwdrivers to get a really good fit that you're comfortable when you give it some real pressure it's not going to twist the head up because you obviously need these screws to put it back together again so once you've got that undone and you've took this bottom connection off this all just comes apart there's a spring there's a spring that sits in the middle and then you've got the this is the actuator rod and straight away as soon as I took mine apart I realized the problem you can see how scored and dry and pitted um, and the fit in, in the actual uh, body of the solenoid is really tight and sticking. Now, I know if I got some about 800 grit wet and dry and scrubbed and cleaned the face of this piston off and then scrubbed, rubbed around inside here and then a little bit of light, light oil or thin grease, that solenoid will still work. The only reason it's been sticking is because it's got so worn. So as a temporary fix to get you out of trouble, you could get this operational again quite quite well just by uh, bodging it up with a, a, a bit of wet and dry and some grease so it's freely moving again. Um, but I'm not going to bother. I managed to get this whole replacement solenoid for under £20. This start as a Bosch. Um, they retail for about £200 new, so uh, for fixing it for £20, it, it works fine. There's very little wear on the uh, on the dog, and uh, yeah, this new one, you can see it's a nice, easy 
springy fit so I'm just going to um, fit that onto it when you put it together the easiest way to do it is have your have your new um, new actuator rod take the spring out of it as well and you'll see in the back of here there's a lever and this flat hooks on there and then obviously you put your spring in slide the new slide the new uh, solenoid body over the top do your connections up put your three screws in and that's it that's how you fix it and uh, that should give you plenty more uh, miles of trouble free motoring like I say if you put a little bit of thin grease or or engine oil not much on here just so it's got some lubrication then um, you won't get any trouble so um, I hope this video helps and basically if it gets you out of trouble or you can save you know, 100 quid then so be it but there you go thanks for watching cheers